in the world of golf, we all love a good deal, but sometimes those deals can prove too good to be true. And in today's video, we are talking to someone who firsthand found that out. Gaz, how are you, mate? I'm good, thanks. What happened? I mean, so we're talking today about the wonderful world of online shopping, the wonderful world of eBay, of Timu in particular, because um, sometimes, mate, and you thought these were real, we're gonna talk about exactly what you've bought in just a second that's in that bag, but a couple of people who came for lessons with you. Yeah. Nobody loves the deal as much as me, and I was assured that this company sold real golf equipment, so I had to order some to check it. Yeah. I had to order some. The prices are on the screen now, and they're quite ridiculous, the pricing, aren't they? They're ridiculous, and I should have known, to be honest, I should have known, but, it's not only me that's getting tripped up by this. You know, this members at our golf club, you know, telling all the mates it's new, they're ordering it. Um, and I mean, I'll show you some of it. Yeah. But, you know, it's not real. Should we get teed off and then we'll have a bit of a discussion because it's yeah. freezing. All right, guys, I'll let you lead off. We'll play a couple of holes and just have a chat about money, about golf stuff, and about potentially having a bit of egg on your face. <laughs> Certainly. Nice. Great first tee shot, that. So guys, do me a huge favor, get in the comments below and let me know, have you ever ordered anything online and it turned out to be fake? Have you ever ordered anything online knowing that it was fake, but you thought the deal was just too good to be true? And have you ever ordered anything online and it actually proved to be a fantastic deal and is still in your golf bag to this day? Yeah. I'll take that as an opener. And you see, this is quite an interesting discussion because I know so many people who have bought fake golf gear not knowing that it's fake golf gear. And I think that's probably the bracket that you would be in because someone came to you for a lesson with a couple of uh, products, shall we say. Yeah. And they were adamant they were real, weren't they? Yeah, and you made a great point. It's not illegal to buy fake equipment. So I'm not, if, if you're aware they're fake, by all means, go ahead if you're happy to. But I didn't know they were fake. Yeah. And there's a lot of other people out there buying these things, thinking they're buying the real product. And, you know, obviously that's that's what the message that I want to obviously share with you guys is just to be aware that it isn't real. And it's not fair, is it? Gaz has done a lot of content on his channel around Timu, the website we're talking about. Some of the stuff is genuine. That's what makes it so muddled up because you bought some really good range finders off there, yeah. such as like a Millicy range finder, which is a really good up and coming budget brand for range finders. But on the same hand, should we have a look at what's in the bag and just see, yeah. there's a couple of things in here that could. It is confusing because a lot of retailers do actually use uh, AliExpress and Timo to, you know. Bear mind, they're not, that's not fake. That's, that's, that's <laughs> a pipe cutter, that. <laughs> I mean, if we just start by, you know, looking at that, for example, I mean, look at that. But that looks as real as it comes. Is yeah. that real? It, it, it's not, no, it's not real. I mean, the charging 50 pounds from Scotty Cameron, Yeah. that costs 10 pounds. Yeah. You know. And um, I mean, and the thing here as well is, you sort of, you don't want to knowingly buy something that's fake because then you're supporting the kind of con artists that do that and you're not supporting the brands in golf. But for something that's that higher quality, that it might not last as long, it might rub off a little bit more, it'd be a totally different weight to a real one. But for £10, are people, are, are the big brands maybe charging too much, which is forcing people to look for deals like that? Well, that's what the subscribers are saying. They're saying they won't buy fake golf clubs, but a grip, a rubber grip that's, you know, they're probably all made in a similar sort of factory. Yeah. They were prepared to... Is that a real you know, one or is that a fake one as well? Again, it's a fake. This was six pounds. Six. You, I can sort of see that. That hasn't got the indentations it, in. It's not quite as good a quality, No, is it? it's not. You can see that. And quality control maybe isn't as high quality as a cushionette themselves. I've got one in here that uh, might fool you. Do you think that's real or fake? It's very light, it doesn't weigh anything. Um, you've said it might fool me, they've both been fake so far. I'm gonna say that is real. No, it's fake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they retail at 35 pounds, that yep. was 10 pounds again, 10 pounds right. 87. Good point about weight though. Doesn't, I mean, it doesn't weigh anything. That. Yeah, it does feel like And we've spent a lot of time it. talking about swing weights on both channels because we've now come to the realization how important swing weight is in all your golf clubs for consistency and for your game. But then you start to look at stuff like that. I mean, are there any in there that's real? Have you brought some? The, there is one that's real. Um, and the worrying thing is you can't tell. Yeah, let me see if I can find see, it. See, that doesn't look as, you're gonna tell me that's the real one now. Still, it even says Golf Pride Tire 1 in, in there, look. Yeah. Now I've got to admit, I don't think there is any real ones in here. I'm that doesn't afraid. look as good a quality. I think I, I could tell that. And when they're on, 
Well, well, that was two pounds eighty-seven from AliExpress. But what about that one? Because that's that was four pounds eighty, and that one, I I struggle to tell the difference. To me, that's the worst one. It do, to me, the cording on that is totally different to what a real grip would be. What What do you guys think? Because oh, we're obviously pros. We see these grips every day, don't we? Yeah, we fitted more of these than you probably had hot dinners. <laughs> so looking at them, I, I feel like I, I should be able to sort of tell that one and for me a lot of what we're talking about here is is it too good to be true if it is yes then be very very careful if you're quite happy to go and spend that money that's a lot cheaper knowing that it might not last the lifetime of maybe a, a real grip or a proper grip but it looks the same and you're saving yourself some money then that's totally up to you and i'm not here to tell people to not buy these things right this one's gonna get you this one of these is fake one's real and you've got to put your house on it which one you're putting on your house that's real or fake? Yeah. I think, can I look at the top of them? I think that one's real and that one's fake. And would fake. you put your house on that being fake? Yeah. It's real. No! No, sorry, it is fake. It is yes! fake. Yes! But the only reason I've said that is because I looked at the end and they put the Circle T logo on there. I know firsthand I got a, a fake Circle T putter off eBay, which again, I've done a video on that and that. So that for me, I paid X amount for that. I'll not tell you how much because I feel stupid, but not as not the right amount. All right. But I got it for a deal. Would you put your house on that being real then? Yeah, I think I would. Yeah. Yeah, that's fake. And that, Fuck that, off. It is. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you said one was real, one was fake. I was joking. They're both <laughs> fake. That was six pounds of black one. But isn't it funny how they're totally different sizes? Yeah. Yeah, I did notice <laughs> that. Oh dear. So we've got a couple more that we're going to go through, guys. There's some uh, golf equipment we're going to talk about as well, so make sure you stay tuned. Guys, if this video gets 10,000 likes, it's a lot more than what we normally get, I'm going to go on team, I'm going to buy a full set of branded fake golf clubs and see what we can score, and we'll have a few matches with them. I know it's a lot of likes, but guys, there's so many of you watching these videos. I really hope you're enjoying them. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well, ready for lots of Christmas giveaways. And go and check out Gaza's channel, because you've covered this quite a lot, haven't you? And I think, personally, yeah. it's a really interesting topic, because times are hard at the moment. A lot of people don't have the disposable income that maybe they once had, but you still want golf products. You still want to play more golf. You still want to enjoy your golf. So a lot of people are looking for that real deal, as it were. There's a big divide and split opinion on this subject. You know, half the subscribers are saying, you know, golf equipment is too expensive and I'm buying whatever I want to buy. It's my yeah. money. And half of them are saying, you know, it's ripping off the golf industry and it's bad. I, for... see, both, I see both sides there yeah. as well. I, I almost sit on the fence here because I personally feel like golf should be more affordable for everyone but then go and buy real more budget grips maybe and go and buy golf clubs that are more in your price range rather than fake ones that the real interesting thing to be would the real interesting thing to see would be if the fake clubs do perform yeah that would be there'll be some good testing there some good head-to-head -head videos i think right make sure you do hit that subscribe button guys if you want to see that and throw some likes on this video right we've got a long way in here mate it's a cold one I'm going to go eight iron. There's not for missing centre at club today, is there? There's not, mate. It's placing, so I'll shift that out of this. Is it? It might be a six iron, you know. I don't think I've ever hit six iron into this green. Well, we're getting cold now. You've got to club up a bit, haven't you? It'd be really interesting to see as well if these scammers did start kind of trying to rip off newer brands like Tacoma, like some of the Lampkin grips I've got, because I've put these grips on my clubs and they have made such a difference as to how, how it feels, how I feel like I'm interacting with the club it's not really a place you want to skimp because this is the only point of contact you're going to have with the club you would hope right. be good what a lovely caressed little strike that was that's lovely yeah, yeah i enjoyed that it's good to get another golf pro's perspective on it as well because no one said that james it's your only point of contact with the golf club Kin closely with the guys at Lampkin and we're looking at maybe working closely together next year and the performance benefits of a grip a lot of people don't really understand and if you have a grip that's the perfect grip for you yes we've spoken about grip weight we've spoken about grip thickness but also the texture of the grip and things like that yeah. I love these because they're a great color as well they're my favorite color so to me it just adds a little bit of personality to them but you want to make sure you are if you're buying clubs and getting fitted don't go and then skimp on the only part of the club you're actually going to spend time in contact with. Yeah, it's a good point. Now, one of the really interesting pieces of golf equipment Gaz did get from Timu, um, I'll put them on screen now, he bought some golf balls and recently I did a video that was the best golf ball of 2023. It's a three-piece European ball and it was the tailor-made stripe. 
For me, that Tory Spons golf ball is a fantastic golf ball at a good price. What did these perform at? I'm going to get them off you and do In a fact, video I'll on them. I'll see you the numbers, mate. I'll see you the numbers. You put them on screen, but yeah. if, you'll be surprised. What, as a comparison? As a comparison. I mean, the, to the, the Tillamere ball did beat it across Everything. the board. Yeah. But but like by fractions, it was yeah. just a fraction better in every single department. So created more spin in the shorter irons, yeah. created uh, you know less spin in the medium irons, or you know yeah. more what you'd like. And then it were about four yards longer. But for a budget ball, what looks so good, it actually performed way better than we expected. Right, so let's start by having a look at these numbers. If we first start by looking at sort of pitching wedge numbers, um, not a great deal in difference in ball speed. In fact, ball speed is actually quicker, isn't it, with Super New Just a little bit, yeah. A little bit lower launching a little bit lower spinning, but actual distance, you know, more. What would you want from the ball though? You would probably want a bit more spin, wouldn't you? Yeah, you're pitching wedge, you're definitely looking for that eight four rather than seven seven. And if we go on to mid iron, so tailor made now is a little bit quicker on ball speed. Yep. I mean tailor made longer, one eight three, but again dispersion's better. And what do you want with your you know your mid irons? Yeah. And I think final point on this iron is, is if you look at the actual ball speed deviation, it's not as tight, is it, with, with Super Nuli 2.4? No, yeah, they, I think we saw that in a couple of them, didn't we, where they really dropped off. Yeah, so a little bit more of a variation in ball speed. You know, that could be a bit a bit down to me. It could it, be, but you thought you struck them well, but didn't I you? I thought so? I struck it well, and, and also, like, when you miss strike a ball... Is it that the ball's not keeping its ball speed on such a good strike where it would keep a bit more ball yeah, speed yeah. with a tail, maybe? And that's another really interesting one because you would like to think that you don't want to go and buy something that's a, a rip-off, but then can you patent, I suppose you can patent it because they have done, but can you rip off a golf ball or are they just making their own version of it? So it doesn't yeah. say tailor made on it, does it's it? It's a reputable brand. It's not a it's not it's not a fake tailor made ball by right. any means. So it is a reputable brand. It's just brand. a direct copy. It's just a it's just a, yeah. They must they must have a patent or something. Right, but. I'm front edge guys. We're going to continue to discuss it on this first hole here at Woolly Park Golf. We'll be filming lots of great content for you today. So please make sure you do hit that subscribe button. And remember, guys, hit the like button if you want to see me buy a proper full set of reputable fake clubs if that's even a thing what we're we looking for here just the distance are they are they real <laughs> are these, they? these are not off team rule why are you one of them now i will try to find range around there for you know i might as well have a fresh breath well, cheers for that mate i'll have one <laughs> not bad a little bit right i had a tic tac in years what do you think you would shoot a full round of golf with fake clubs, with fake grips on them, fake balls. Well, I because have... how good? Sorry, I've interrupted you there. Go on. No, you're all right. I, I've tried one fake club because I've done one comparison. It were a ping fairway wood, and it were extremely heavy in the head. Yeah. And how uh... good do you have to be to notice a proper difference? Because when I do, I do a lot of product test. <coughs> sorry, TikTok got stuck in my throat. I do a lot of product testing. I do a lot of budget product testing. I do a lot of expensive product testing. And often I can shoot just as good or a better score with cheap product. Now that's real cheap product. Yeah. What about fake cheap product? That's, we're going to golf clubs for cash again in a couple of weeks. And I'd be interested to see a couple of things sometimes get through their net. And when they do the QC, they do kind of pull them out and find yeah. them. So I'd be interested to see what fake product they've got and maybe where that was purchased from initially. It's a good point, you know, because I think um, at, at that sort of price point that the fake product is, it could be tempting for a newer golfer or yeah. somebody on a budget to actually, you know, The only thing that it. you don't want to see there is someone then sell it on yeah. as though it's then you're in the bad. You're, yeah. Then you're not a very nice person and that's not what you want to be doing to try and con someone. Oh! Win it all. So really interesting. I'd love to see what the comments are saying and the, the discussions in the comments because these videos are all about you guys as much as they are us. So I'd love to see potentially what everyone's thinking and are people going mad at the thought that we're even touching fake products? Go on, turn, turn. Oh. Or are you thinking, you know what, I could save some money, but I don't like the idea of buying something that's knockoff or a little bit snide. Wait till you see next product in the bag. What we got? This one shocked me. Yeah? It's an head cover. Oof. For Scotty Cameron. And they go for big money, don't they? Yeah. It, it, I wouldn't know it were fake. I've no. looked around it loads. And you're, you're a Scotty Cameron guy, aren't you? Yeah. Nice. 
You'd give me that, won't you? Uh, I'll probably see you that, mate, actually, <laughs> it's just another victory then, isn't it, for the books? But let's talk about this head cover. We're going to do a couple of videos today on what's in Gaza's bag, because some really interesting stuff transpiring there. Just look at this. Now, though, there's so many people out there going, I can tell that's fake because of, what? I believe... Because of what? Yeah. It, they've even copied the tag. Yeah. It doesn't feel as premium. That's all I'll say. It doesn't feel as premium. Similar to the head cover I've got on my fake one, actually. And my fake one, like I said, I got done with. I thought it was real. It wasn't, and I lost money on it. And now I'm stuck with it because I don't want to sell it anyone, even as a fake, because yeah. it doesn't feel right. It's basically worthless. But that is a really interesting one. And I mean, if you want a head cover for your putter and you don't want to spend, I mean, real, that would be hundreds of pounds yeah, real definitely. but does it matter like does it matter i don't know that and when i'm not here to try and sell these to you because i i do kind of disagree with it because someone's built a business and a brand on the back of the circle t kind of branding so that product is worth what it's worth but have they maybe gone too far and is that why maybe people are thinking oh i'll just get the snide one and then it doesn't really matter it'd be, it'd be awful to lose a one hole match mate <laughs> right this is it. This is it. This is it. Is man good? Yeah. Come on, guys. You don't want to be losing this. This is more important than an 18 hole match. Oh, and that's one up to Robinson. That is game set match on the Timu fake golf club video guys thank you so much for watching real impromptu uh video but be very very careful what you're spending your money on we work hard for our money and you don't want to go and get scammed on something that's potentially not real and then worthless when you move forward guys thanks for your time mate go and check out guys channel if you want more information on this because it's really interesting i'll let you pick my ball out of the hole there mate and that is another victory for robinson get in there well played mate